You are entering a realm which is unusual. A realm full of tales that were meant to be forgotten. Tales designed to excite man's curiosity as well as ignite his deepest fears. You are entering the realm of Stories Untold. Stories Untold is a really cool little game. A game all about short stories. Interactive video game short stories that I think are supposed to be kind of spooky, kind of sci-fi-ish. There's some computers going on. There's like, this one's called The House Abandoned. The, the last session, the station process, and the lab conduct. I'm gonna play the house abandon right now, but I really like the idea behind this game. The aesthetic and the style and the atmosphere and vibe of this is just really, really cool. Nice! Oh my god, this is so Stranger Things-ish. Even the music sounds like it. It's so 80s. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it's exactly Stranger Things. <laughs> That was cool, I like that a lot. Neato! Nice. Sorry, my thoughts and brain are leaking out in audio form. This is how my thoughts sound on a daily basis. The House Abandoned Interactive Horror Adventure. Yeah, and then another one I think then is a bit more sci-fi, and another one is something different. It's cool! You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. Oh, it's one of these types of games! Ooh! Open glove box. Oh, yes. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Okay, read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi, son. Hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get the power and lights on. Also, found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Huh. Okay, so we need to... Fire up the generator and go around back, get the power and lights on. Okay. Put up the driveway with the family. Okay, this is the same thing. Ooh, I am into this. I am ready to go. Are you ready for some stories? Untold. This reminds me of some like old TV shows you'd watch, like Twilight Zone or something like that. Um, it's gonna be back. Okay, uh... Get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Okay. Open front door. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Hmm. Where could I have found a key? Uh, use key. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Just like that. Magic. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. But you don't know because it's dark and you can't see anything. Turn- oh wait. I'm gonna have to go around back, aren't I? A click. And nothing. There is no power. The note should say how to restore it. I read the note. Um, go- go around back. You step outside the front door. Oh, okay. Okay, go around back. Where would you like to go? Around back. I'm sorry, I don't understand. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Um, go to yard. Ah, you take a walk around to the yard. 
The yard has been well maintained. You spend a lot of time there with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look for generator. The fuel gauge is healthy and it is manually operated. Okay, turn on generator. You switch the generator on and it whirs to life. The house is still dark. Go inside. Oh, it's like... I'm sorry, I don't understand. You walk back around to the front of the house. It's like playing a book! Neat! It's like a choose-your-own-adventure thing. Go inside. You step inside the front door. I have to wait for all the text to finish before I can do anything. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and living room from here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Um, Go upstairs. You walk upstairs to the landing. The stairwell landing. There's a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls. Images of happy times. Go to my room. So there was something in my room from the attic. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap box. Open gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. So you mean 130K? Hey man, I'm not a mathematician, but I'm just putting numbers together here. It's like, math is like magic. Magic mathematics. It's been preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Press enter to continue. Ooh. On your desk is a Futuro computer, yeah. And a copy of The House Abandoned. It's all still to be set up though. Ooh, am I actually playing a video game called The House Abandoned? Play game. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. It's all still to be set up, though. Okay, set up computer. You start to plug in the various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here, too. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. You see, kids? You put the... Uh-oh. Wait, am I actually sitting here right now playing the computer? Oh, it's upside down. Oh no! Okay! And now the time is different. The time is gone. I don't like this! Oh no, we're starting again! Okay, I hate this. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. Before, we were excited to go in. Now we cannot stand it. Okay. Open! Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. See if the note's any different. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out, get out the car, get out, get out, get out. Okay. Maybe I should get out of the car. I'm not sure where I heard that though. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There's a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Okay. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around? There's no generator next to you. 
Oh, I turned on the generator and the lights came on. Oh, and the pictures have crossed our eyes. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm a brave boy. I'm a big boy. I'm a strong lad. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. I read this already. Shut your mouth, Jack. The door appears to be locked. You will need to use a key. Luckily for us, I have a key. The click of the lock hurts to hear. You reluctantly step in- Oh. This is awesome. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to the touch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. The- Oh god! Upstairs, the sounds of an alarm clock blaring! Someone else is in the house! That can't be! Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You are still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. So I came into the house, I'm still at the computer and somebody else is coming into the house again after me? Oh, this is freaky. And now the time changed again. Read note. I can't read the note, it's bleeding. Always a good sign when your notes are bleeding. You head up the stairs, they creak. Oh, I don't like it. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room. Oh god! Behind the door, a phone starts to ring. You don't understand. Neither can he. Answer... Phone. It's saying don't go upstairs, get out. Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever was in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do. Whoever. You consider the worst. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Let's go to a bathroom this time. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Use toilet. I don't know what you were trying to use. I clearly said toilet. I gotta do a shidu. Go to my room. Actually, go to sister's room. Okay, leave bathroom. You step back onto the landing. I'm gonna go to my sister's room to see what's going on. This is so spooky, I love it! Jennifer, Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to my room and have an existential crisis of seeing my own body. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. 9999 is up there. Maybe that's the code? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Use code. I don't know what you were trying to use. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay. Maybe you have to go back downstairs. You go back downstairs. You are still in the hallway and the noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. A kitchen and a living room. Okay. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. 
The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Okay. Read writing. No! Oh! In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Oh god, that got me! Ooh, heebie jeebies! Okay. Look at body. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Look at corpse? Look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is. Or what it is. Go to utility room? The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Okay. Go to living room. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Go to hallway? You step back into the hallway. Your shoes are wet. From the blood? Okay, maybe we should go upstairs now. You head up the stairs to where noise came from. They stairs creak. Okay, frickin' lightning getting me again. Stupid Thor. Alright. Go to my room. The room is bolted shut. With a four digit combination lock. Use. What you're trying to do? Uh, use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and can now input the code. That got a bit weird. 1986. The year I came here first. The year I died. The lock clicks open. Same but different, the landing has access to your- Okay. Go to my room. The door is closed. Open door. You open the bedroom door. Go inside. Go into my room. You enter your bedroom. Oh god. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Did you kill yourself? End? You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was all my fault. I don't believe you. Like you mean it. Please! It was all my fault! It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault, okay? Finally. Cool, I like that a lot! So I did something? I did something that I can't deal with? And then I killed myself? Did you kill your family? 
Man, that was really good. I like that a lot. The aesthetic, it's super simple. It's a very, very simple game, just simply inputting commands and you're looking at the same screen for the entire thing. But somehow, it was so incredibly involving. And, admit it, while I was playing this game and it was talking about the hallway and the stairs and the room and all that, I guarantee you, you were picturing what that room and that house and everything looked like as I was going through it. Because I certainly was. Exactly like reading a book. You kind of sit down and you, you imagine the world all around you and I was imagining what the house looked like and the stairs were to the left but they went up and they were wooden and to the right was the dining table and through that was the open kitchen. You didn't have to go through a door or anything and there was a body on a table in there and to the left was the utility room. In my head that's what it looked like and I can vividly picture what that house looked like in my head. Probably completely different than what was intended. But that was very, very powerful for being something so simplistic, and I love the atmosphere that came out of that. Such simple little scares, but it still got to me, it still made me feel all spooked, it still made me look around. I hope some of you are watching this, like, at night time. I hope some of you are watching this late at night, and... You're kind of curled up in blankets or something on your bed with a laptop or something like that, and you're watching it, because that's the perfect experience for that. That kind of makes you all spooked, it makes you feel like something's over your shoulder, it makes you feel like something's going on. That was exactly like playing an episode of a TV show. Oh, that was enthralling. I really, really want to play more of this. This was super cool, I'm glad I decided to play this. Because this has been around for a while. And I just never got around to it because I thought it was going to be something that you just sit down and you read. And I didn't know if that was going to be interesting or not. But I'm really glad I gave this a shot because that was fantastic, that was outstanding. It almost makes me sad that there's only four episodes. But that was really good! I really, really enjoyed that. That, that like, legitimately spooked me at times, so... Ooh! I'm all tingly now. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it... What was that? Did you hear that? It sounded like somebody... <laughs>